Hi everyone. Namaste. I'm Jill Loftus of New at Astrology. Welcome to your planetary energy forecast for the week of August 1st, 2022. Now I've broken out um, the new tarot reading that I'm doing for every week and every month. I have that in a separate video. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. This is just going to be the general astrology for the week. We launched this month, as you know, with this triple conjunction of Uranus, the North Node, and Mars, all in the sign of Taurus, a very unique configuration, but also a difficult energy. When you have conjunctions, conjunctions are just a lot because they all come together and each um, energy doesn't kind of have its own will or way. It has to make friends. It has to flow with the other energies. North Node amplifies, it makes things bigger. Uranus makes things uh, sudden or shocking and requires freedom and space and um, uh, uniqueness in a lot of ways. And then Mars, you know, that energy of Gur, of go, um, which can be, uh, you know, like all of the energies, you can high vibe it or you can low vibe that. So this conjunction at 18 degrees of Taurus is influencing everyone. Keep in mind that we have the south node across the sky opposing these forces in the sign of Scorpio. So that whole Taurus Scorpio section of your chart is gonna be lit up big. And so really think about how you can harmonize those areas of life. I always think that sometimes you have to go across the sky, right? So if you're um, really flowing with your Taurus energies, um, you're doing those high vibe, that's great. But if you're struggling, maybe go across the sky to the Scorpio energy and, and offer a little more intensity. Um, maybe demonstrate a little less fear of things. You know, if you're really walking the Scorpio area, that's great. But if you're having trouble with the Scorpio area, go across the sky to stabilizing Taurus. Slow down, be grounded, stay in your body, right? Uh, these waves are gonna uh, flow out for years to come. Um, but in the meantime, we have to be very cautious. Uh, this is a difficult configuration. It's a lot of energy. And so be aware of accidents, violence, um, lower vibrational Mars, because when even just the good qualities of Mars comes together with the sudden shocking qualities of Uranus, we can have things uh, change in, in, a, in a minute or less. So really pay attention to the symbols of that day. Uh, and of course, if this hits anything specific in your chart, you're gonna wanna be on alert. Um, now, another thing that happens on the first, on Mondays, we've got the moon in Virgo, and it's gonna be sending a beautiful beam of energy to this stellium. So that's a really uh, helpful thing there. You might intuit um, some great ideas of how to respond. Definitely amplifies the earth energy. And so again, being grounded, stable, slow, things like that, that really embody earth are good for you. Now it's gonna be across the sky from Neptune though, which can in in introduce a little bit of confusion, a little bit of uncertainty. There's a, several forces this week that kind of give you that idea that you might, you might, um, know that you have to change but the way forward or the way um, to go isn't quite clear and so you have to really be discerning and use your wisdom to move forward uh, this moon is also going to try and pluto so change is your jam embrace the change get down with change august the second we have venus in cancer it's sending beautiful beams of energy to the stellium as well and so um, that's some really positive support there. Again, another um, bit of intuitive flow, perhaps. Um, you know, a little bit of nurturing needs to happen in your life. See how you can take the cancer area of life and your Taurus area of life and allow them to merge and balance in a positive way. Um, the Libra moon is gonna be across the sky from Jupiter. There may be some really difficult conversations this week about relationships and partnerships. So be ready for those. It's not a good week to be, um, it's not a good week to be unprepared for those things to come up because you might say so or do something really rash with the with this Uranus energy happening um, because the week is really bookended by some difficult uh, energies but if you're if you have any kind of issues with your partnerships or relationships stay ahead of the game by keeping your communication open and fluid don't be hypersensitive Venus and Cancer can be a little overly sensitive so keep that in mind all right, August the 3rd, we have the Libra moon. It's going to square Venus, but it's going to trine Saturn and square Pluto. This is another one. You won't get what you want, but you're probably going to get what you need. So pay attention to that. Um, and again, it, it, the relationship sector of your chart might really be feeling like it's, um, it's, it's ripe for change, right? Now, Libra, where Libra is for you, might not be the relationship house, right? But that's the natural ruler of Libra. 
All right, so on August the 4th, we have Mercury coming home to its home sign of Virgo. And so this really um, is great. It connects positively with the moon, which is newly in Scorpio, which is a great day for balancing heart and head, right? You need both, you need both that intellectual power, but you also need that intuition. Um, and I'm also thinking that with, uh, on August 4th, there might be some um, secrets that come up out of the blue, so stay tuned for that. Then we flip to a very difficult day, August the 5th. Um, the moon is in Scorpio, which is not its favorite place to reside as it is. It's gonna square the sun and Saturn and conjunct the south node, which means it's across the sky from that connection of the north node, Uranus and Mars, all in Taurus. This is a day to keep your head down, all right? Whatever area of life Scorpio is for you um, will feel very unsteady, um, have some uh, distinct challenges. And so make sure that you're feeling change of depth and that you don't overpack your day because you are, are gonna have to be a little nimble. And then on the sixth, which is um, Saturday, we have some really lovely moon aspects for that Scorpio moon. So it has a moment to lick its wounds and pick up the pieces of life because it's gonna flow with Venus and Neptune and send a sextile over to Saturn. All right, now uh, over the weekend, six, seven, eight, the astrological cash and flag goes up, although it probably hasn't come down yet. Um, we're gonna have the Mars in Taurus. So remember it connected with the Uranus and the North Node. Well, now it's gonna keep going, right? It moves faster than those other two symbols. And those two symbols will stay connected throughout early August. But Mars is gonna come into the square with Saturn. So Mars square Saturn is the, the, you know, the teenager arguing with the old man, right? It's the warrior arguing with the, uh, the government. <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the um, you know, it's your will and what you want uh, at odds with uh, time or circumstance, right? And so this is another potential violence aspect that you need to be careful or cautious of. You need to be aware of harmonizing between your Taurus area of life and your Aquarius area of life. And um, just really, really pay attention to it. Now, Uranus and North Node will be widely engaged in that square. It's not exact like it happened three times in 2021, right? Three times in 2021, Uranus came into the exact square with Saturn. This time it's just gonna be close, but not quite you may see some themes reemerge that had happened back in 2021 in the collective, but also for you specifically. And so pay attention to that. Saturn just asks for integrity. Saturn asks you to work. Saturn asks for things to be done right, okay? And so there might be some do-overs. There might be some things uh, that you realize suddenly like, whoa, this is not working and I need to fix this. Um, so just stay safe throughout that because People, when they don't understand what's going on, they don't understand the pressures of the planets, um, you know, the evolutional, uh, evolutionary, um, revolutionary path that we are on right now, they get disturbed and they get upset. This is also um, an energy that could bring weather events. Even that triple conjunction alone could bring weather events, but this could also bring some difficult weather events. Um, so if you live in a prone area, be extra cautious. All right. There is one saving grace, actually two saving graces on that Sunday when we have that precise square between Mars and Saturn. And that is there's a giant trine in the sky between Chiron, which is in Aries, over to the Saggy moon and up to the sun in Leo. And so take the Leo, Sag and Aries parts of your chart, take that fire and really work towards healing, um, towards shining. Um, Think about taking those energies and, and helping them to aid you with these other challenges that are coming through. The other positive, beautiful um, aspect is that Venus in Cancer is going to be trying Neptune in Pisces. So big feels, um, big astrology. I, I know you've, I've been saying this for years, but we really are on a path of evolution. And, um, and if you are making the changes needed, if you're adapting and acclimatizing, as my teacher Goswami Kriyananda would say, then, you know, it's gonna be okay. It's when we get rigid, it's when we resist change, it's when we, uh, you know, two of swords, we, we, don't, we, we don't wanna see what's happening. We don't wanna acknowledge the reality of what's happening. 
that's when we get tripped up and that's when big astrology causes big events because we have to be forced to make those adaptations. So let's instead take the knowledge with us, use our wisdom and um, be more adaptable. I do uh, feel actually pretty good about this week. When I looked at the astrology, I was like, eh, man, that's kind of gnarly. But the tarot spread for this week is really pretty sparkly. So be sure to check out that video. I hope that will be meaningful and helpful to you. Well, if this was useful or helpful, please, as you know, like or comment below. That helps the channel to grow. Hop on the website. I'm continually posting blogs. Um, I have a membership available if you'd like a personalized reading every single month. Um, it's pretty affordable and um, also a video library membership and a journaling membership as well um, I wish you the best through these transits it'll be interesting to see I know this hits me um, pretty directly on my son um, and a lot of people that I know and love it's a pretty big impact too so um, surrounding all of us with white light um, the blessings of Om and the blessings of Shanti which is peace namaste my friends and I'll see you next time Bye.